Hello, Miss. Good evening. How are you, Andrea? Very good. Excellent. How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Relax. Okay, that's nice. So, do you work or study, Andrea? Eh, la tarea o en la plataforma? Eh, no, si ¿sí normalmente trabaja o estudia. Fíjese que ahorita no, me despidieron en la pandemia. Ah, ok. Sí, por eso va trabajando. En casita, entonces. Ah, bueno. Sí. Okay. ¿Cómo vamos Pero, con la plataforma? Pues ahora no estudio, como que quedó avanzada y no quise estudiar. Ah, bueno. Pero ya va en la sección 2, me comentaba, ¿verdad? Sí, 2.7 me he quedado. Ah, muy bien. Vamos bien entonces. Sí. Perfecto. ¿Y qué tal la que te... Yo bien. Pues, fíjese que me ha gustado. Es casi como el curso que estaba tomando. Ah, bueno, qué bien. Porque el otro iba un poquito más lento. Ajá. Sí, acá lo bonito sí, pero... es que puede trabajar a su ritmo y pues nosotros vamos reforzando, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí, sí. Sí, porque está casi igual, casi igual empezaron con lo de, solo que ahí empezaron con, ¿cómo es que se llama? Con los países y todo eso, por la nacionalidad que uno es. Uh -huh. Empezaron con eso y después con lo, el abecedario, después el nombre, después los números, la hora, los días de la semana, los meses. Uh -huh. so, bastante parecido. Ok, qué bien. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mario. How are you? I'm doing well, and you? Um, así se puede ocupar como nice or good. Yeah, así, you can. Nice, and you, así. Um, nice, que casi no se utiliza. No. Sí, de pronto lo podrá escuchar, pero no es muy común. Uh -huh. Good uh, or fine, pretty well, pretty good. Oh, yeah. Y tenía una pregunta, este, si... ¿Cada lección es por, lección es por un, una por semana o...? No, en, en las primeras dos semanas estamos desarrollando las lecciones, o mejor dicho, las secciones de la 1 a la 3. A la 1 a la 3. Oh, yes. Y luego en la cuarta semana estaríamos, perdón, en la tercera semana estaríamos desarrollando la sección 4. Oh, yeah. Y en la yes. última semana, la número 4, sería la sección 5. Ok, thank uh -huh. you. Okay. ¿Qué tal su día, Mario? Pues todo bien, gracias a Dios. ¿Y el suyo? Muy bien, gracias. Un poquito sí. cansado ahí en reuniones y todo eso, pero ahí estamos. A pesar de cómo está el clima, ¿verdad? Malo. Sí. Siempre las tienen ahí que presentarse. Pues en mi caso, en el trabajo solamente nos reunimos de forma virtual. Entonces oh. siempre en casita. No le falla el internet. Estar ahí. Sí, como no hay que estar ahí pendiente de la conexión y estar sentado mucho rato y todo eso, pero bueno. Ah, 
Pero bueno, hay que salir adelante con eso. Así es. ¿Y usted estudia o trabaja? Pues estudio actualmente. Ah, muy bien. ¿Qué estudia? Es ingeniería eléctrica. Interesante. Pero ayer me tocó hacer un examen por, por lo mismo, la alerta, lo, lo pospusieron y todo. Oh. Por eso me tocó. No porque okay. el sábado llevo todas las materias. Ah, bueno. <laughs> Good evening, Ana Baños. Good evening, how are you? Fine, and you? Bye. Great. How was your day? All right. All right. That's nice. I'm glad to hear that. So, what did you do? Did you have to work? Yes, I work. Okay, nice. In the platform? Uh, yes, un poco. Uh, okay. Sí, estoy ahí con, ¿verdad? Con lo de, con lo del dis y dos y das. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Ahí Do empezando. Ajá, es empezando. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué tal? ¿La ha entendido? ¿Cómo le ha ido ahí con los ejercicios? Sí, yo los entiendo. Sí, lo que me cuesta... Yo los entiendo, ¿verdad? Lo, uh -huh. Sí, quizá no me cuesta mucho. Lo que me cuesta más es pro, pro, los ejercicios uh -huh. de pronunciación y todo ah, eso. Claro, toma un tiempo, pero ya pronto van a ir desarrollando ahí la, la habilidad. Uh -huh. Ojalá. <risa> es de seguir practicando. Sí, ahí estamos. Bueno. Good evening, mi day. ¿Qué tal? Bien, ¿y usted cómo está? Bien. Bien. ¿Qué tal estuvo su día? ¿Qué tal? Bastante bien. Sí. Qué bueno. ¿Y el suyo? Muy bien también. Hay un poquito cansado, pero pues igual, ¿verdad? Hay un poco de trabajo y de todo. Sí, sí, pero bien, bien al final. Sí, gracias. ¿Y qué tal el trabajo en plataforma, Mide? Este, eh, terminé y voy a comenzar eh, la segunda. Qué es bien. El, la dos. Ajá. Este, voy a, bueno, mañana, primero Dios, este, empiezo. Ya okay. con la segunda para agarrar viernes, sábado y domingo. Para el lunes está. Ya, más o menos. Excelente. Sí, tenemos, recordemos, las dos semanas para completar desde la sección 1 a la 3, como mínimo. Entonces, vamos bien. Ya los que están llegando a la sección 2, perfecto. Y los que no, hay que apurarse un poquitín porque sí, ya la otra semana estaríamos entrando a sección 2 y 3. Okay. Hay que seguir trabajando. Good evening, María Magdalena. Good evening, Miss. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Very well, thank you. How was your day? Very good. Great. And have you been working in the platform? Yes. Voy por la 3.13. 3.13, excelente. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay. Good evening, Karina Elizabeth. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine. Excellent. How was your day? How was your day? It was good. All right. I'm glad to hear that. And tell me about the platform. Have you been working on it? Ya hice, voy ahorita por la sección, por la lección dos. Okay. Ya la voy comenzando. Great. ¿Y qué tal? ¿Ha entendido los temas? ¿No le ha costado mucho eh, hacer los ejercicios? Un 
poco, pero con los videos se entiende bastante. Muy bien. Ok, perfecto. Gracias. Good evening, Enrique. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good. <laughs> Good. Great. All right, excellent. You How say? was your day? Mucho bien, gracias. Mm. Qué bueno. ¿Qué tal con la plataforma, Enrique? Pues ya iniciar la segunda lección. Ah, bueno, qué bien. <risa> ¿Qué tal le ha parecido? Pues, he aprendido bastante. <risa> Vaya, qué bueno. <risa> Good evening, Cristian López. Good evening, Miss. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Great. How was your day? It's a good day. It was a good one. Great. Great. <laughs> okay, and tell me about the platform. Christian, have you been working on it? Sí, empezando la lección 2 también. Okay. Section two. That's nice. Yes. Good evening, Karina. No, let's see, Paola is missing. Good evening, Paola. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Okay, very good. Tell me about the platform. Have you been working on it? Perdón? Ha estado trabajando en plataforma. ¿Qué tal vamos? Pues ahora no avancé. Voy siempre por la lección 2.2. Ah, ok, pero ya estamos en la lección 2. ¿Me parece sí. bien? Excelente. Gracias. Good evening, Carlota. Carlota, check your microphone. Good evening. Sorry. How are you? I am fine. Okay. Very well. How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Muy bien. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Do you work? Yes. All right. What do you do? ¿A qué se dedica? Este trabajo con mi, mi suegra. Okay, that's nice. You have a family business. Un negocio familiar. Pues, sí. Okay, great. Pues, sí. In the platform, Carlota, have you been working there? Eh, eh, voy por el 2.8. Uno, creo, dos, sí, dos punto uno. Muy bien. Sí, ahí, este, no, ya no avancé, pues, porque no sabía, este, si estaba correcto lo de los ejemplos. Ahí, disculpe que le estaba preguntando anoche, pero no me conectaban los videos. No, no se preocupe, eh, cuando necesiten algo, siempre escríbanme, ahí, disculpen, si en un momento, pues, no, no respondo inmediatamente, pues. Estoy a veces un poquito ocupada, pero en cuanto yo veo los mensajes, yo les respondo, así que no hay problema. Ah, gracias. Karina Elizabeth, hello. Hola, ya me había saludado a mí. Ah, ya la había saludado, ¿verdad? Estaba como, no sé si ya la saludé o no. <ríe> okay. Sí, ya me había saludado. All right, very good. So, yeah. I think I have said hi to everybody. So we're ready to start with the class. Mm -hmm. Give me a sec. Ok, 
Okay, there we are. So welcome to our class. And well, first of all, we are going to start by practicing spelling. So here I have some words. I am going to ask uh, for some volunteers to spell them. So the first one is pencil. Everybody repeat, please. Pencil. 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 Okay, do I have a volunteer to spell it? Tengo algún voluntario para deletrearla? Me. Enrique. Go ahead. P E N C I L. Okay, pretty good. Thank you, Enrique. Next word is notebook. Please repeat. Notebook. 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 Okay, and um, let's see who's going to spell it. Me. Karina. Okay, go ahead, please. N O T E B O O K. Okay, very well, Karina. Thank you. Next one is mechanic. Repeat, please. Mechanic. 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 Okay, who's going to spell it? Me. Maria Magdalena. Go ahead. Yes. M E C H A N I C. Very good. Thank you. All right, now we have camera. Repeat, please. Camera. 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 Okay, who's going to spell it? Let's see. Any volunteers to spell? I. I. Anna. Go ahead. Yes. C A M E R A. Okay, thank you, Anna. Very good. Next one is hairbrush. Repeat, please. Hairbrush. 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 Okay. Let me have a volunteer to spell. Let's see. Who's going to spell it? Me? That is Christian. Okay, Christian, go okay. ahead. H A I R B R U S H. Excellent, Christian. Next word is keys. Repeat, please. Keys. 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 Okay, and let's see, Mario, can you spell it, please? K E keys. J S. Um, why? This one is Y. Mario, repeat it, please. Y. K E Y S. Very good. Thank you, Mario. Next word is sunglasses. Repeat, please. Sunglasses. Glasses. Sunglasses. 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 Andrea Michel, can you spell it? Sunglasses. U-N-E-L-I-S-I. No. Um, this one is A. 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 E. So repeat it, please. A. S U M G L I A. A. S E S. Okay, excellent. 
Thank you, Andrea. Then we have the word friend. Repeat, friend. 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 Friends. Friend. Okay, Friend. so let me ask Paola to spell it. F R I E N D. Okay, thank you, Paola. Excellent. Next one is classmate. Classmate. Repeat. Classmate. 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 Okay, Maria Magdalena, can you spell it, please? Okay. C L A S S M A T E. Very good, Maria. Thank you. Okay. Our next word is English. Repeat. English. 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 Okay, English. let's see who hasn't participated. How about uh, Mide? Can you spell it, please? E M G L M um, La I S I I S E H Okay, Sorry. pretty good. Yes, very well. Thank you, Miguel. Next word is sharpener. Sharpener, repeat. Sharpener. Sharpener. Let's see who's going to spell it. Carlota, go ahead, please. S A A R P E N E R. Thank you, Carlota. Very good. And our last word is eraser. Repeat, please. Eraser. Eraser. Yeah. Mm, going to spell it. How about Karina Elizabeth? E R A S E R. Eraser. Okay. Excellent. All right. So please repeat one more time. Pencil. 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 Notebook. 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 Mechanic. 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 Camera. 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 Okay. Hairbrush. Hairbrush. Keys. 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 Sunglasses. 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 Friend. Friend. Friends. Classmate. 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 English. 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 Sharpener. Sharpener. Eraser. 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 Okay. okay, do you understand the meaning of all the words? Entendemos el significado de todos? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, sharpener. Sharpener, sacapuntas. Okay. Uh -huh. Eraser. Eraser, borrador. Borrador. Uh -huh. Is that clear? Estamos claros, ya no hay preguntas. No. Okay, very good. So let's remember the about home homework. Yes, we are going to check it in a minute. So let's just remember about the verb to be in the affirmative form. So um, we said that we have a different form for each of the personal pronouns, right? So we go like, I am, you are, he is, mm -hmm. she is, it is, we are, you are, and they are, right? And then we also have some contractions that we can use in order to talk more fluently, right? They are, I'm, your, his, she's, it's, we're, your, 
in there. Now I need you to repeat. I am. I am. I am. am. I'm. 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 You are. You are. You are. Your. You are. Your. He is. He, he is. is. His. 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 She is. She, she is. is. She's. 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 It is. It, it is. is. It's. It, it, it. We are. We are. are. We're. We are. You are. You are. are. You are. They are. They, they are. are. They are. They are. Okay, so now let's remember about the homework and we're going to check it. Yes? Tengo una pregunta. Vaya, para referencia a he, en bastantes, es his. Y ahora con eso del verbo to be, este, también está el his. Sí, es la misma pronunciación, de hecho. Ahí tendríamos que, que considerar el contexto. Dependiendo de lo que estemos diciendo, será el que necesite, ¿verdad? Porque ya sabe que el, el his. With I, um, let me write it. This one is the possessive, right? His. His notebook is over there. His notebook is over there. His cell phone is new. Ahí lo estoy utilizando como posesivo, ¿verdad? Es el posesivo, mm -hmm. his. Luego, si estoy diciendo este, será una oración con el verb be. He is a student. He is a lawyer. Entonces, mm -hmm. vamos a diferenciarlo dependiendo de lo que estemos diciendo. Acá, el, este his, que significa su, de él. Y este, mm -hmm. que sería... Él está o él es. Okay. okay. Gracias. Sí. Right. Gracias, Ipo. Okay, so let's check the homework. So you had to make some sentences using the verb be, and also you had to write them using the contractions. Let's see the first one. Tell me, please. What's the sentence? I am. I am. I am. A teacher. A teacher. teacher, and then I change it for the contracted form, and it becomes I'm a teacher. I a teacher. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. So we have I am a teacher and I'm a teacher. I I'm a teacher. A teacher. Okay, number two. What is it? You are an. You are. In a, Engineer. Uh, engineer. Okay. Engineer. And the contracted form is? Your. Or. Your. 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 An engineer. An engineer. Very good. Next one. He is, he is a lawyer. He is a lawyer. A lawyer. 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 Very good. And the contracted form is? He's a lawyer. A lawyer. He's a lawyer. Okay. Number four. She is in the park. She is in the park. She is in the park. In the contraction, she is in the park. In the park. Okay. So we say she is in the park and she's in the park. Next one, number five is? It is. It is on the chair. It is on the chair. Chair. We say repeat, please. Chair. 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 
it is on the chair and the contracted form is it's on the chair it's on the chair it's on the chair chair okay number six where are we are we are we are students students okay the contracted form is we are we are que la forma contractada se pronuncia en una sola palabra, ¿verdad? We are. We are. We are. We are students. We are. We are. Okay, then we have number seven. You are good friends. You are friend. good friends. You are good friends. And the contracted form would be? You're good friends. You're good, good friends. And the last one, number eight. They, they are, are co -work. work. They are co workers. The contracted form is they are. Co-workers. Co okay, very good. So that's how we make sentences using the verb be in the affirmative. Remember, we have three different um, forms. We have am, is, and are. We use am for I, I am. We use is for he, she, and it. She is, he is, it is. And we use are for we, you, and they. We are, you are, and they are. Okay, now let's talk a bit about the negative form. So we also have um, the verb be in the negative form and it's very easy to use it in this way because the only thing that we need is to add a not. Then it becomes I am not. Para la forma negativa, lo único que vamos a hacer es agregar un not después de la forma del verb be. Entonces, en el, en el caso de I, tendríamos I am not. I am not. En el caso I de you, not. ¿cómo sería? You are not. Are not. He. Is not. Is not. not. She. Is not. Is not. Is not. Is not. It. Is not. Is not. Is not. Is not. Is not. not. We. Are. Are. Not. Are not. Are not. You are, you are, are not, are not, and they <coughs> are, not, are not, are not. Para la forma negativa también tenemos la posibilidad de utilizar contracciones o contracted forms. So, So here, for example, in this case, the only possible contraction would be I'm not. En el caso de I'm, en el caso de I, solamente tenemos esta contracción. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Para las otras formas, como you are not, tenemos aren't. You aren't. Y también es posible utilizar la otra contracción solo agregando el not. You're not. You aren't o you're not. Next one. He is not becomes he isn't. He isn't. Or again, you can use the other contraction and it becomes his not. The same happens for she. We say she isn't. Okay. 
For it, again, we use is not. So what would be the contraction? It's not. It's not. It's not. It's it's, it's not, not or it isn't. It isn't. It isn't. It's not. It's not. And we have we are not. That would become we. Do you know it? Aren't. Right. We aren't. Or we're not. And then we have again, you aren't. Or you're not. And at last we have, they aren't, they're not. Me? Yes. Por qué you lleva doble t? Um. Oh, it's a mistake. Sorry. Let me just fix. It. Um. It goes like this, you aren't or you're not. Thank you for telling me, Maria. Okay, so those are the contractions we have. What happened to... Okay, so now I need you to repeat, please. I am not. I am, I am not. not. I'm not. I am not. I'm not. I'm not. You are not. You are not. You are not. You aren't. You are. You are. You're not. You're, You're not. not. He is not. He, he is, is not. not. He isn't. He, he is isn't. isn't. He isn't. He's not. He is not. 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 She is not. She, she is, is not. not. She, she not. isn't. She isn't. She's not. She's not. She's not. It is not. It is not. It isn't. It isn't. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. We are not. We are not. We we aren't. We are not. We're not. We're not. That. You are not. You are not. You aren't. You are not. You aren't. You are not. You're not. You're not. They are not. They are not. They aren't. They, they are not. 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 Okay, so remember the pronunciation for the contractions. Aren't, isn't. Repeat, please. Aren't, isn't. Aren't, isn't. Okay, so now let's practice by making some examples. So tell me um, a sentence using I am not. What can we write? I am not mechanic. I am I'm not, not mechanic. a mechanic. Okay, very good. I am not a mechanic, or remember you can use the contracted form, I'm not. I'm not. Can't. I'm not. Can't. Okay, now make another example using you. 
you? You are not a teacher. Teacher, okay. And we have the contracted form. You aren't, you aren't a, te you aren't a teacher. A teacher. Okay, now let's make one using she. She is not a nurse. Okay, and we can also say she isn't a nurse. Do we all understand the meaning of nurse? Mm -hmm. Enfermera. Enfermera, exactly. Okay, now tell me another sentence using he. Is not. He is not. He is not. Is not my classmate. My classmate. And the contracted form would be he. He is. He. Isn't. 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 Okay, and let's see, we got I, you, she, he, and now we we'll go with it. It is not. It is not. It's a cat. A cat. It is not a cat. Then we say it. It is saying. Is saying. A cat. A cat. A cat. Next one goes with we. We. We are. We are, we are, are not. Clothing. Not. We are not. To the students. 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 Okay, in the contracted form, we aren't students. We aren't, ah! aren't students. And one last one with they. They are not. They are not Facebook. Uh, they are not classmates. Contracted form would be. They aren't. Um, they aren't classmates. Okay. So that is the way we use the verb be in the negative form. So just remember, after the form of the verb be, am, um, is, or are, we add not. And we have the possible contractions, aren't, and is. Any questions? Tenemos preguntas? No. Okay. Very good. So let's continue by changing some sentences into the negative form. So here I have an affirmative sentence. The books are in my bag. You have to tell me the negative. Yo le digo la oración en afirmativo, usted me la dice en negativo, okay? So we have the books are in my bag. The books are not. The books are not. Are not in my bag. The books are not in my bag. Exactly. So we say the books are not in my bag, or the books aren't in my bag. Mm -hmm. Next one. My teacher is young. My teacher is young. Young. Teacher isn't young. Very well. My teacher isn't young, or my teacher is not young. Is not young. My teacher Do you understand? is not young. Do you understand the meaning of young? Oven. Exactly. Okay, next one is Anthony is an actor. Anthony is an actor. Anthony isn't an actor or Anton is not an actor. Number four says Mike and Molly are waiters. Mike and Molly are not 
Okay, we got Mike and Molly are not or aren't waiters. Aren't waiters. Wait. Number five, my mom is so pretty. My, my mom, mom is, is not, not so, so pretty. Okay, my mom is not so pretty or my mom isn't so pretty. Then we have the water is hot. The water, the water is hot. Uh, the water isn't hot or the water is not hot. My brothers are at school. My, bro my, bro my brothers, brothers aren't, aren't at, at school. Okay, my brothers aren't at school or my brothers are not at school. Then we have the cat is in the kitchen. The cat is not in the kitchen. Okay, the cat isn't in the kitchen or the cat is not in the kitchen. Number nine, my parents are in Germany. My, my parents, parents are, are in, in Germany. Germany. My parents aren't in Germany or my parents are not in Germany. Um, do you understand the meaning of Germany? Alemania. Exactly. And then the last one says, Alan is my best friend. Alan, Alan is not my, my, best, my best, friend. best friend. Alan is not my best friend or Alan isn't yes. my best friend. Okay, there's a second thing I want to do with this exercise. So here, as you see, we have um, nouns as subjects. For example, we say the books. What would be the corresponding subject pronoun for this? Vamos a irlos cambiando a los pronombres que son I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. ¿Cuál sería el pronombre correspondiente para the books? They. They. They, they right? Yeah. They. So you could say the books are in my bag or they are in my, in a, in my bag. Sorry. They are in my bag. Then the next one, my teacher is young. How do we change it? He or she. Exactly. There we have two options. Yeah. It could be a he if it's a man, or it could she. be a she, she if you're talking about a girl. Next one, he. Anton. He. He. he is a he. he. Mike and Molly. They. 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 Because we got two people, Mike and Molly. My she. mom. She. 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 The water. It. 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 My brothers. He. 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 My brothers. They. 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 Hay que tener cuidado con estos casos. Si estoy hablando solo de un hermano, my brother es he. Pero como estoy hablando de varios, brothers, entonces se convierte en they. Then we have the cat. It. 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 My parents. They. 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 Alan. He. 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 Okay, excellent. So now let me just go to the platform. Let's see. So first of all, we are going to watch this video um, and continue listening to the to the explanation about the verb be. So I need you all to pay attention and at the end we could clarify and explain the video. Now let's learn how to form yes or no questions using the verb to be. Let's look at this example that you see here on this chart. Are you That's a question. The way you respond to that question is by saying yes I am or no I'm not. And then there's one last question there. How are you? We're going to focus on forming this yes or no questions using the verb to be. As I explained previously, 
um, I'll show you how to form statements using the verb to be, where we use the subject, the verb to be, and the complement. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to do we're going to follow something very similar, with the exception that we're going to form questions. So I'm going to copy this formula that I show you, and I'm going to paste it here because I want you to see the relation between the two. What we're going to do essentially is we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun. Okay, so we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun, and that's how you form questions. Um, so look at the example. Are you Stephen Carson? We move the verb to be before the pronoun you. Okay, so our formula needs to change. Uh, now, instead of uh, the subject at the beginning, we're going to say that that's the verb to be at the beginning. And then we're going to say that that's the uh, subject uh, or the pronoun. Okay, and then it's going to follow some kind of complement. So we're going to take the same examples here and simply change the order. And that's basically how we form. Ask you for a favor. Could you please turn off your microphones? Podemos apagar micrófonos, por favor. Okay, thank you. Um, and as I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to change the verb to be to the beginning, and we're going to put the pronoun there. So let's look at that. This one changes here. And there we go. So the first question is, am I Joe? Now, obviously, you need to change things like spelling at the beginning with capitals. Am I Joe? Okay. Um, and the next one, I am an English teacher. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order and I'm going to say, am. I an English teacher. All right, and then we put a question mark at the end. So how would we form the next one? Um, he is Mario. Okay, if I want to ask the question, I'm going to change the verb to be to the beginning, and I'm going to say is he. Mario, okay, is he a mechanic, is, is he at work? Are they my co-workers? Now, what I would like for you to... Okay, so that is the way we make the questions. They ask no questions using the verb to be. So let's review it. So here, um, as Mr. Sands explained, you have a sentence, for example, it could be, we are um, students, let's say, we are students. So the first thing that you are going to do in order to change this sentence to a question is to move the verb be to the beginning. Para formar preguntas, vamos a cambiar el verb be al inicio. So it will become, are we students? Are we students? Are we students? Student. OK. Entonces, la oración afirmativa sería, we are students. Pero en, en la pregunta, lo que hago es cambiar el orden de los elementos. Y ya no tengo el sujeto al inicio, sino que lo tengo en el segundo lugar. Lo que tengo al principio es el verb be. Are we students? Y luego we tenemos students? las respuestas. 
Eh, ¿Cuáles podrían ser? Do you know them? Are we students? You say yes. Yes, I am a student. Yes, we are. We are. In this case, we say are. yes, we are. Or Children. we could also say no. No, we are. Oh. We aren't. Oh. We aren't. 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 Ok, acá en las opciones de respuesta siempre vamos a seguir la misma estructura. El yes con el sujeto y el verb be. Yes, we are. En, el, en la forma negativa, no, we aren't. Pero hay que tener cuidado porque esta parte va a cambiar dependiendo del sujeto. Por ejemplo, si cambiamos... Y cambiamos la pregunta a Is he at home? Is he at home? ¿Cuáles serían las opciones de respuesta? Yes. 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 He is at home. He is. He is at home. At home. Or no. He no, isn't. He isn't. Entonces, si se fijan acá, vamos cambiando el sujeto dependiendo de la pregunta, ¿verdad? Acá era una pregunta con are we, así mismo la respondemos. We are or we aren't. Is he, he is, he isn't. Y luego escuchaba por ahí, eh, decíamos de las preguntas, de, perdón, de las respuestas largas, las respuestas completas. Mm -hmm. So here we have the short answers. Yes, we are. No, we aren't. Or we could also use the long forms. Yes, we are students. Or no, we aren't students. Mm -hmm. And over here, is he at home, what could be the affirmative answer, yeah. long answer? He is at home. He is at home. Or no? He isn't at home. He isn't at home. Another thing to keep in mind is that in the affirmative, Using yes, we do not use contractions. En la respuesta afirmativa no podemos utilizar contracción cuando es respuesta corta. Acá, eh, por ejemplo, no podemos decir yes, we're. That is incorrect. Sería incorrecto. Siempre tiene que ser we are. En cambio, en la forma negativa, si sí utilizamos el aren't. O también podría usted cambiarlo por no, we are not. Ok, do we have any questions about this? Any doubts? Tenemos preguntas. Not really? Ok, so how about you tell me some other questions? A ver, hacemos algunos ejemplos. Is he a mechanic? Is he a mechanic? Okay, and what could be the answers? Yes. 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 No. No. Is 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 okay. Tell is me another example, please. He is. Oh no. The, is the, she? Is she or he? She. Okay. Um. In the in the park. In the, in the park. Very good. Is she in the park? 
answer yes. 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 Yes.